Okay guys, what's going on? So in this video, we're gonna talk about the easiest way to calculate your macros. But we're not really gonna talk about calculating your macros. Well, I guess we kinda are. But we're gonna talk about calories first. There's a million videos out there that can go through the calculations of formulas on how to calculate macros. What are macros, right? Protein, fats, and carbohydrates, and understanding those. But for somebody that's just starting out, for somebody that um, doesn't want to know all that, right? Somebody that just wants to get going, you know, want to take action today. Uh, without being bogged down by all that information and formulas and calculations because you have to calculate a bunch of other things when you really truly sit down and calculate your calories and your macronutrients you need to calculate you know your TDE and your resting rate and all this other fun stuff so what I'm gonna say is for the person just beginning the first person that just wants to get a baseline that just wants to start seeing results as soon as possible I'm gonna tell you you need to do 10 things no I'm, just, I'm joking I'm joking you really just need two things right so first you need to download an app, right? Everybody has a smartphone, you can have computers as well, but you need to download an app, use the computer, Google websites, um, download MyFitnessPal is a great one. Uh, track My Macros is another really good one. There's a handful of them out there, but basically it's a tracking tool for your food, right? To track your food, the calories, and the different macronutrients that you are taking into your body on a daily basis, right? So so get one of these things. I use my fitness pal. it's been great, it's been around forever, it has a huge database, uh, there's tons of information in there, and it's really user friendly, really easy to use, so I highly recommend that one. That's the first thing. The second thing is to purchase a food scale, right? So um, I've purchased food scales from Walmart, uh, the one I'm using now is from Target, I think it was like 20, 25 bucks. I've had it for almost two years now, it's been great. I don't even think I've ever replaced the batteries actually. Um, and, and purchase one of those, right? Because that's you know, a, a digital food scale is the best. Uh, I think my very first one was an actual like weighted pressure one that had a little dial thing on it. Um, I, I think I got it at Walmart. So I used it for a little bit, but I realized that digital was the way to go. So get that. And here, well, here's what you're gonna do. Without trying to do any fancy calculations or math or any other cool stuff, is what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this app and you're gonna track your food. You're gonna track your food for 10 days. Now some people will tell you three days. Some people will tell you one week. I've heard other people say 14 days. 10 days is a perfect amount because that includes a weekend, maybe two weekends depending on when you start. Maybe if you have any a, a, a special events or occasions, you might be able to throw that in there as well because it wants to, you, you, you wanna track normal days. You wanna track what you do on a regular basis. So don't necessarily go, I'm gonna eat good and healthy and track all that healthy good food. What I'm saying is, eat normal, eat what you've been eating. If you eat a bag of Doritos, just measure it, right? Weigh it out, put it in a bowl, weigh it out, you know, or if you eat a whole bag, right, you can just look on the back of the label uh, and, and track it, you know, find it in the, in the system and, and mark that you ate that and track it over 10 days. Now you want 10 days because you need a good sample size. You need good data, like I mentioned, a weekend, uh, Fridays, you know, stuff like that. And make sure you try to be as accurate as possible. Now, of course, you're, you're making the step, so you're gonna eat a little bit healthier, and that's great, and that's what we want. But what I'm saying is you don't need to go vegan tomorrow, you know, from, from eating meat to vegan and I'm going to be healthy and I'm going to track all my vegan food. If, they, if that's what you want to do, that's great. But, you know, I'm here to talk to you about, as a beginner, making progress, one of the easiest ways to do it. So you're going to track everything for 10 days, right? At the end of that 10 days, you're going to look and you're going to see what your average calorie intake is for the day, right? So so over the 10-day period, you're going to see, okay, let's say let's say it's 3,000 calories is on what on average is what you eat each day. So from that point, you just whack off, bam, take off 500 calories, right? That's the easiest way to do it because 500 times seven is what? 3,500. Uh, what is, or how much, how many calories is in one pound of fat or weight? Um, 3,500 calories, right? So if you just take off 500 calories uh, over a week period, you'll lose a pound, right? Um, and <laughs> I love to say it's that easy because it, it truly is that easy. We talk about gaining weight is really easy, losing weight is really easy, but it takes a little bit of discipline and it takes knowledge, it takes understanding, it takes you to be knowledgeable about what you're doing, what you're taking into your body, uh, and, and how you're exercising and how you are expending calories, right? Because at the end of the day, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about calories taking in versus calories going out. So if you don't do any exercising and all you're doing is tracking your food, trying to be as mindful as possible about what you eat, 
and just taking away 500 calories a day. So your your baseline was 3,000. Now you're going to be at 2,500, right? And so you eat your calories. You're weighing your food. You're tracking your calories to 2,500 calories per day, right? So with that being said, depending on how much you weigh for your body type, you could actually lose more than a pound. Uh, it, it's, it all depends, right? It all depends on what you had been eating before, your body composition, uh, the amount of, of weight you have right now. So, But it's a great place to start because you're almost guaranteed to start losing a pound maybe even more a week. Now, you can get more aggressive. I don't recommend that, right? Because the whole idea behind losing, losing weight is doing it slow and steady so you don't gain it all back, right? Um, so, And also, we're talking about no exercising at this point. If you are exercising, even better because that's one of the more important parts as well. You know, the equation is it's 70% you know, food and kitchen lifestyle stuff and then 30% exercise, weight training, and that type of stuff. So. Um, with that being said, guys, I hope I covered everything. I feel like it was it was good. I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible, but I can see I'm already at six minutes. So just remember, track your food for 10 days, figure out what your average is on a day, take off 500 calories, lose weight. When you stop losing weight after you tracked it, if you're not losing weight after a whole week of lowered calories, take off two more two, two more hundred calories, right? Just take off another 200 calories. Um, and then you should start losing weight, right? Uh, and then from there, just keep on dropping. When, you know, keep that. You know, if you're doing 2,300 calories now for another month or a couple weeks until you stop losing weight, you take off another couple hundred calories. The idea is to slowly progress you down, so you're not starving yourself from you know 4,000 calories to 1,900 calories. It's a huge swing when you do that. But if you just slowly take calories away over weeks and weeks and weeks, you're not depriving yourself. You're training yourself for new habits, and you actually start being healthier. And it's more of a long term long term progress. Now, eventually, you'll get to the point where eating so few calories, which is very bad for you. You got to be mindful of that. You, as a male, you do not want to eat less than 1,500 calories. As a female, you, you don't want to let, eat less than 13, I argue 15 as well for females. But um, once you start getting around that 2,000 range, right, if you started at 3,000 and you're at 2,000, well, then we want to start talking about additional exercising, maybe more cardio, maybe a different type of cardio. It all depends on what you're doing. But right now, we're just talking about food, what you're eating versus what you're expending, and how to get that deficit down so you start losing weight. Remember, 10 days is all it takes to figure out what you need to do to start changing the rest of your life. So with that, guys, I appreciate your time. Hey, throw a comment or a like in, in the bottom. If you agree or if you disagree, uh, if it seems helpful, uh, if I missed something, always look forward to your feedback. And thanks again, and deuces.